Um, so, could I practice kidnapping you? I promise I won't make it weird, it's just, I, I tried to kidnap my crush the other day, but I couldn't really do it, so I realized I needed practice, and now they know I'm coming, so like, I really feel like I need even extra practice, and I was wondering if I could just like practice on you. Could I practice kidnapping you? I'm not gonna like go through every little nitty little gritty little detail, but I I want to just try a couple things to see if um, they're like effective. I want to make sure that you uh, can't move and that you uh, can't see um, and that you uh, can't scream. Um, and also, I want to make sure not to hurt you, because I really like this person, and I, I just want to have, like, enough time to tell them how I feel, you know, like, away from the world. And I feel like if, the, if all the distractions are gone, that they will hear me out and understand what I'm trying to tell them, and they'll understand how much I like them, because I obviously put so much effort in. I even practice. Okay, so the first thing I think is that I'm going to try and knock them out with this chain. It's like, it's way heavier than it looks, and I think that if I swing it really hard, right, like, kind of on the side of their head, like on their temple, then it'll knock them out. Um, I obviously don't want to knock you out right now, um, so maybe we can save this for, like, the end, because I want you to be conscious for some of the, uh, the techniques that I want to practice on you, but you don't think this is heavy enough to knock someone out? What if I swung it really hard? Like, what bam Would it be heavy enough? Well, we'll see you later, okay? I'm gonna use it on you. Is that okay? Just making sure, just making sure. I have this rope, and it's kind of smelly. It smells so weird. Smell it. Right? It doesn't it smell weird? But anyway, I was wondering if I could practice tying up your hands behind your back. Could I do that? me your hands. Um, yeah, I can just practice it, the knot, I guess, like, in front of you, because I'll do it on their back whenever I'm kidnapping them, but just for practice, I'll just do it when it's, when your hands are in front of you, okay? Okay. So, I'm just going to tie that like that, tighten it, is that too tight? No? Okay. <clears throat> what about that? Can you get out of that? No, keep trying. Try harder. Okay. Good. Alright. And then, after I have them knocked out cold, I have this, um, this spooky mask. And it has eye holes right here. Um, I think if I just put this mask on their face backwards, then it'll be like a blind bolt. Um, and it'll just go right over their head, and then they won't be able to see anything. So after I put them in the car, and then drive away when they're knocked out, even if they're like, um, like waking up a little bit, um, they won't be able to see anything, or like where we're going, or anything like that. Um, do you think that? You. Where did I get the mask? Uh, the store. The store. You don't need to know where I got the mask. And then I also have these handcuffs. Um, but the wrist holes are pretty small. I 
think they'll fit them though because they have pretty skinny wrists um, I'm trying to keep track of the bag that has the key because I know the key is really 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 important I've been like watching this bag like a hawk ever since I got it just so that I can stay in the habit because while I have them restrained sure that they can't steal any of these keys from me but I also didn't want to just have one key because I if I only have one key I feel like I feel like I'm gonna lose it and then they'll be trapped forever which wouldn't be the worst thing but I feel like that's just like an unsustainable plan long term um, you know what I mean I want them to eventually um, like have like full mobility or at least as much mobility as they have now so I've been keeping the keys safely inside this bag actually would you like to keep one of the keys as like um, as like my backup key person yeah like in case um, in case in case I lose my key would you like to keep the one of the keys Just, um, put it on your keychain, okay? Don't lose it. It's very important, okay? So keep track of it. Alright, and now this is honestly the part that I'm, like, really most nervous about. I need to duct tape your mouth and I need to not hurt you. I might even, uh, like, I might, I might have to duct tape your legs together or like I might have to duct tape you to like a chair or something because whenever I do this to them I really want to make sure that I don't hurt them um, so I'm gonna do a lot of, uh, of test taping because I want to make sure that whenever I put the tape on on you that it doesn't uh, hurt your skin because I don't want their skin to be hurt and you're making me big um, so let's see. I really, I really hate the sound of duct tape. But when it's slow, I don't mind so much. Okay. Let's try doing some on this side. Just to give my ears a break from that. I like it when the sound is that thing though. Okay. I'm gonna use this and... Can I tape your mouth closed? Okay. So I want you to stay still, okay? And I'm gonna put this on your mouth. Um, you to tell me if it hurts whenever I take it off, okay? Just stay still. Stay still. There you go. Alright, it's all the way on. Now, did that, did that hurt? Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I'll try doing it again in a way that's a little bit different, okay? So just stay still, stay just like that. And um, I'll just do like this and press it on, press it on, just like that. And now. felt a little bit better than before. Okay, that's good to know. It's a little bit better. Okay, I want to keep practicing, but I don't want to keep ripping the tape in the 
the same spot. I'm gonna assume that it's the same if I rip it off on different spots, so I'm gonna just put it on your chin or on your cheek this time and let me know if my ripping it off technique hurts or not, okay? So I'll just press it on right there. Press it on and Oh, that didn't feel too good. I'm sorry. Let's see. I'll try on this side. I'll just press it on. And that one didn't hurt at all. great news. <laughs> I've mastered it. I've mastered putting duct tape on someone and then taking it off and making it not hurt. I think they're gonna really be um, flattered that I did so much for them. Also try choking them with it like this. Do you think that would be too painful? That might hurt them. Yeah. If I put this up against your neck and press, does that hurt? Okay, yeah, I don't want to hurt them. I'll just hit them really hard in the head with it. Here we go. This feels good. It's like double doubled like a quadrupled. So I'll just swing it really hard. Boom. Right there on their head. I'll just go kinda boom. I want to practice aiming it in a couple different ways. Maybe this way is better. knock you out for the practice. You really don't want me to. I guess that's fair. You wouldn't want me to think I was kidnapping you secretly. <laughs> That'd be a pretty great way to trick you into it. <laughs> yeah, it 
doesn't make too much sense for you to be all knocked out while we're just practicing. Can I practice putting the mask on your head, though? And then, after I put the mask on your head, I'll, um, I'll do some, like, taping around you, and I'll practice, uh, the things, some of the things that I'm gonna say, um, because I, I want to make sure I don't say anything weird by accident whenever I'm kidnapping them. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this mask on you, and I'll give it, I'll put the mask on you with the holes forward so you can see for a little bit, okay? Like this. Alright. Can you see okay? doing some taping now. I don't want you to move because at this point in the kidnapping, they won't be able to move. So if you move, then it'll be not like the real thing. Napping them, I think I'm gonna be um, saying things like, Shh, it's okay, it's just me. Shh, it's okay. I know this is scary, but you're safe right now. It's okay. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. It's just me. I know this is scary, but I'll make sure you're okay. I'll take care of you. It's okay. You can just let yourself rest. Let yourself go to sleep. It's okay. It's okay. Here. Once the mask is fully on them, and they can't see anything, I'm going to make sure that they feel safe by touching their head, just like this. And I'll say, shh, it's okay. I know you have a bad headache, so just go to sleep. Go to sleep and you'll wake up somewhere much nicer. Go to sleep and you'll wake up somewhere with me. good care of you. Don't worry. Don't scream. Don't worry. I'll make sure that you're okay. I'll make sure that you're okay. No one will be able to find you or take you away. Oh, that's spooky. Okay, I won't say that. I'll say, um, I'll say, 